Cool. I think we are working. Hello for anyone who's here. Um, I have a mic. I don't know if this is actually going to work or not, but I'm going to plug the mic in anyway. Let us see. Okay. Um, I'm just going to wait a little bit to see if people will start coming because it's literally only just gone four o'clock. So wait probably like five minutes. So if you don't have a cup of tea, I would grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, <laughs> whatever your choice of poison is. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna start drawing in a minute, I think. I'm trying to get this to open on another phone, so if anyone asks questions, I can actually answer. Oh, so hello, that's company. weird. Okay, we have an extra phone, so I can answer. Cool. Anyway, oh, hello, more people are coming in. Hi, 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 people. Um, wow, okay, I wasn't actually expecting people to join, but that's cool. Um, so if you are here, I'm just going to carry on waiting a few minutes just, you know, to let people trickle in. This is nothing serious. I really just want to allow you to be um, voyeurs, as it were. Um, I hope this setup works. Um, it sort of keeps on autofocusing quite a lot, but um, I think it'll be okay. So. Have any of you done drawings today? Are you here to draw along? Um, I'm sort of hard winging this. This is very much not a serious thing. I just wanted to do something that actually wasn't, um, wasn't an artwork to try and sell. Um, if any of you are in the business of art, I think maybe you know that sometimes the pressure of making stuff to sell is a little bit, a little bit much. I like my panda sharpener. I am a professional artist, guys, can't you tell? <laughs> I think it was like two pounds from Tesco's. Look at that. Absolutely terrible. <sighs> Might have to do it at an angle. Um, anyway, how, how is everyone finding day one? It's a bit weird. I can hear lots of people still out on the streets. It's, um, it's a bit odd. I sort of thought there'd be less cars and stuff around, but apparently, apparently people are still going around the business, so. Okay, we have a semi-sharp pencil. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Maybe should we just get cracking? I'm gonna get cracking. Um, okay, so, um, hello, <laughs> officially. And welcome to the day one draw along, the lockdown draw along. Um, I really just wanted to do this to kind of break up what is going to be a very strange time for everyone. Um, I'm lucky enough that I work from home, so my days are sort of the same ish, um, minus being able to go out to buy materials, which is a little bit of a panic, um, considering I paint with wine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but yeah, how are you all finding it? Today I wanted to do Yayu Kusama as the artist to start off with um, for, for a few reasons. She's amazing, so if any of you googled her, you'll see that she's a boss. Um, she's fantastic. But also she uses art quite a lot to cope with her own mental health issues. And I thought that that felt quite apt for today. Um, she has, I can't quite remember what she has. I think she's bipolar, I could be lying though, and she self-institutionalized when she was like 30, and she's late 80s now. 
um, and she has made these rep repetitive, repetitive, <laughs> repetitive dot artworks for years and years and years as kind of a meditative way of dealing with her mental health issues. So I thought maybe that's a nice way to get into this. Um, and to honor that, I thought I am gonna do a mandala. So, oh, this is very strange. I'm drawing quite far away from myself, but it's, it's, a, it's an experience. So mandalas are also, I mean, I know they're quite trendy, but um, they are, they have spiritual links to them. Um, I'm not quite sure of all the actual reasoning behind it, but hi, Tammy. What am I using right now for materials? Um, I think I'm just going to be using, what am I going to be using? Pencil, black pen. Um, maybe I'm going to head in with some color. So I have had these for a while. So I think, I think we're going to do some color pens. I'll see how it goes. It might just be black and white. Um, but these are here as backup just in case, but thank you for joining in. Um, so again, please don't feel like you need to do what I'm doing. I'm literally just going to be like drawing and talking and winging it basically <laughs> just being chilled and, um, probably saying some very stupid things on camera. Um, anyway, yeah, so basically a mandala, if, if we want to have the very terrible definition of what it is, is, oh no, I've already got mark on my paper. That's irritating, but I guess that's not unexpected. <laughs> um, basically it's a circular repeated design. So I think I just literally want to do this with loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of dots. Not stippling though. Maybe some bits will be stippled. Because I was thinking as well, maybe some of these live draw alongs could be a good idea to share some different drawing techniques. I promise I won't be doing pencil for long. If this is just to lay out what I'm doing. Also, if I have to get up really quickly, it's because Misty's sat on my chair and she, I've closed the door both outside and inside because there's so much, um, so much noise. <laughs> I thought it was going to be quiet, but uh, she's basically trapped in here. She's fast asleep now, but I think she'll have a, a strong panic if she wakes up and realizes she can't get out. So for the good of Misty. Um, okay, I am, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna plan anything. Are we just gonna play risky business and just go for it? I think we are. Let's do some little dots. Actually, no, I don't know. Oh, there's so much pressure. <laughs> I happen to have a bunch of circular things knocking around, which is quite handy. Um, cause I did, uh, illustration yesterday that needed lots of circles. Um, so Kyla, if you're here, <laughs> you know about this illustration. So it's for a science book, a children's, children's coloring science book, which is really cool. Um, but I had to draw loads of gears. So lots of circular things were needed. Um, okay. Let's just get going. I really hope this comes out. I hope my dodgy setup works. Do you guys want me to just keep like rambling aimlessly as I'm doing this? I can happily aimlessly ramble and talk about stuff if you like. I promise I may or may not run out of things to ramble about after 21 days of doing this. Is there anything you want me to talk about in particular? Um, yeah, I am literally not going anywhere. So. <laughs> Oh, this is very small. I wonder if I can zoom in. Can I zoom in? Oh, I can. Look at us. We're so fancy. Can I zoom in more? This is very difficult. I can't really see what I'm zooming in on. So sorry if that suddenly went very strange. I think that might be a bit better for you guys. But again, the whole point of doing this is not to take it very seriously. I am purely doing this because I want a bit of a, a mental break from the panic of, well, there's the freelancer panic anyway, which I'm sure a lot of you know. Um, but now there's the added freelancer panic of not being able to sell anything for, well, we've already been, we, James and I've already been in quarantine for over a week. Um, 
because he works with a lot of international clients and we decided that it wasn't it wasn't worth keeping the practice open because um, they all travel a lot. Anyway, so we've been here for a while um, and yeah, I've just been sort of freaking out about feeling like I need to make some really good work while we're in lockdown so that I've got fresh stuff ready for when we're all free and I know that's a ridiculous thing to be panicking about but I'm panicking about it so yeah um maybe let's do I don't know what we're doing it's very strange drawing with people watching <laughs> hmm let's do So I think some of these I might do a bit more, these are really bad circles, <laughs> I do a bit more like prescriptively, um, but this is very much just kind of like a gear with the blue, wherever a circle needs to go it's going to go. Also, I feel like I might end up doing quite a lot of stuff in just pen because um, I know lots of people don't have fancy art materials. So I will probably do some paintings and stuff as well, but I think mostly I'm going to keep it to materials that most people have. I'm running really low on printer paper though, I didn't think about that. That was fairly stupid, but yeah, I guess we are still allowed to go to the shops, but the aim is to do that as little as possible. Maybe let's do a little um so are you guys here to draw along are you doing your own thing it's very strange just talking into the abyss i don't know how people do this Although to be fair, it's not much different from teaching. Like some days when you're doing teaching, you just get kids just stare at you with like mouth mouths open, just like fish. <laughs> Especially on art theory days, which is sad because art theory is really interesting. <laughs> Let's do some like half circles. So also after doing that illustration yesterday, I realized that I would never be able to be a tattoo artist because I really like turning the paper. <laughs> I'm gonna try not do it today. But turning the paper is just it's much easier. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> do you know what I'm gonna do? I think in the honor of meditation. So I've got my sad little oil burnery thing here. I'm gonna light a candle. Where's a candle? I know I have one in here somewhere. Do I? Yes, I do. Hello! Yeah, it's super weird. It's really strange not being able to visit anybody. It's, um, yeah, it's really odd. Maybe we can brainstorm art ideas here because I still need to be making things during this lockdown. But again, I'm not going to put pressure on myself because that results in not making very good things. But I'm 100% freaking out, especially because the show was cancelled. And now we have a house full of paintings that I can't sell. Um, yee. Tammy, you're doing your own thing. Circle inspired. Yes, awesome. I kind of feel like it, it's nice to do your own thing. This is. This is kind of like a, a virtual communal studio, which is nice. I always feel like I love working from home. Do not get me wrong, but I do kind of miss the communal studio vibe sometimes. Um, it just, it's nice working around people who are also working. It's inspiring. So think of this as our virtual collective studio.
Oh, I can already smell that candle burning. It's nice. It's like the one fancy candle I have. It's one of those Yankee candle burners, which is significantly cheaper than buying a Yankee candle. Um, if you buy, they sell these specific burners for the little, um, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> hey, um, those little thingies and you can burn it in there. Um, if you like Yankee candle things, but don't want to sell a kidney. If I buy it, you know that they're not terribly priced because I am the world's cheapest person. Can I sell online and deliver after the lockdown? I can indeed. So I'm basically still marketing as if this lockdown isn't happening. Um, but obviously I will only be able to deliver once lockdown's been lifted. Um, but I'm hopefully, fingers crossed, um, still taking on commissions. Oh dear, that line went AWOL completely. Um, and I updated my website yesterday with most new pieces. I think I've still got a couple to put on, ones that I'm just about to finish. Um, two big pieces. The one behind me is, I think that's one point nine meters by 1.3, I think that one is. Um, and I've got another route too. One, two, three really big canvases that I've been um, avoiding. Uh, but now is the time to commit to them. I want to get back into doing more really mixed media stuff again. So I'm going to do almost like collage mixed in with the painting with some more sewing. Like now is the time to experiment and do some more clay stuff. So ba that was a very long winded way of basically saying like, yes, selling online still, um, but only for delivery after the lockdown. Not that anyone really has any spare money at the moment, which I completely understand because I'm in the same boat. So also I really wanted to do this on YouTube, one for the size um, and two because um, YouTube allows for people to subscribe to the channel and if you reach a thousand subscribers that means that you can monetize your videos. So you don't get paid very much, but um, it's a really nice residual income for makers. So if you happen to know anyone who has a YouTube channel, um, subscribing is really helpful. Um, so that's sort of part of the reason why I wanted to do this on here as well. Because the panic is real. Um, I'm thinking about this too much. I'm just gonna go for it. This is the least symmetrical mandala the world has ever known. But I see why Yayoka Sama does this. There's something very nice about drawing circles. Would you guys be keen for some kind of art lesson? I, I'm trying to work out how we would do it because it would have to be the single shot. Um, but I guess I could share like a reference link in the description that you click onto and then we are all looking at the same thing. Um, yeah, I don't know, let me know. I'm just trying to think of things that can basically keep keep everyone entertained. Um, 
And it's also just nice to use your hands. the actual temperature of the sun in the studio today. It was nice and cool this morning and then it's all it's warmed up again. I think having all the doors closed doesn't help. <laughs> So, I mean, you don't have to answer, but I'm just going to ask people anyway. So does anyone have anything planned for planned for lockdown? I guess that's a weird way of saying it, but planned for lockdown, like stuff that you haven't been able to do. Are you still working as normal? Like what is, what does life look like now for you? I'm sort of trying to use this as an excuse to maybe not work the whole time. <laughs> um, maybe do a bit of gardening. I didn't stock up on anything though before we went into lockdown because I didn't want to just like frantically be going to the shops to buy stuff for no reason. Kind of defies the point of pre-quarantining. But I am definitely gonna make some pots. So um, if you are watching this channel from the planty content, you obviously know that I like plants. If you're watching this from my art stuff, um, I primarily use this channel for plant videos and have been wanting to start my own range of plant pots for a while. So I did get some clay before we went into lockdown. So I'm gonna have an experiment. Let's see, aha, planting all the plants are working from home, training the dogs a few tricks, that sounds amazing. Maybe I should try and teach the cats things. I don't think Misty has the attention span to be taught stuff, bless her, but Rosie, maybe. Actually, no, I think that's optimistic. I don't think they're... Mm, maybe Rosie could. <laughs> no, Rosie could. Misty, bless her, she just, she just doesn't have the attention span. She gets too excited. Um, but planting all the plants sounds amazing. I don't really have anything like to do with the plants at the moment. Like the outside garden's looking a bit of a shambles. So I might clean up the beds and propagate a few things to fill out for some more ground cover. But other than that, my inside guy's pretty sorted. So it's a good and a bad thing, I guess. Like I've still got quite a lot of new growth. So for example, this guy. Look at this new leaf. So that's how, these are the ones that I had before on it. But that new leaf is just incredible. Um, I 
also, I mean, I really do want to say thank you for actually tuning in and watching. I wasn't sure anyone was going to, <laughs> and that I was just going to be talking into the abyss. Um, so yeah, thank you for actually coming here. I don't know how long these will be each day, to be honest. Some will be much quicker than others. What plant is that? This one. Um, this is an Anthurium spectable. Um, it's really cool. I got him at a plant swap. What did I swap for him? Swapped um, Syngonium rei uh, for him, and he's absolutely beautiful. He's a long pendant Anthurium, so if you Google images of him, they get. I think they can get like a meter long the leaf blades. I'm hoping these ones don't, because we do not have the space for that. But I'm going to make him a wall um, hanger so that he can hang off of the wall. So I'm going to make like plant pots that sit flush against the wall and you can still put the um, cover pot inside so you don't have to worry about like planting out into a pot that doesn't have drainage holes. So that's the plan to like work on a nice design for that because if you don't have a lot of space, wall space just kind of, get, kind of, kind of gets lost for plants. So that's on the to-do list basically to, to find a home for that plant, <laughs> if I'm honest. And a few others. Um, I'm sort of tempted to do some dots, but I feel like we could be here for the rest of our lives if I start doing dots. Mm, let's do... It really is weird drawing with people watching. Because it's like silent watching. Uh, I can hear James getting off the computer. I wonder if he knows that I'm live streaming. <laughs> he could come bursting in here and be very surprised. So you may get to say hello to him. going where I thought it was going to go but I'm not entirely offended by it but again I guess it's not really not really the point to be making something that is fantastically beautiful is it oopsie these are very squishy circles So um, I found a thing on Facebook, I think it's, I actually can't remember what it's called, the Mzanzi Marathon Challenge or something like that. Um, it's a really cool initiative, so basically it's a challenge for you to run indoors, obviously, on your property, in your flat, wherever, on your balcony, to run two kilometres each day, and then you'll have run a marathon by the end of lockdown, um, which I think is really cool. Apparently they've been doing it in China. Um, so I decided to do that this morning, um, but it turns out that our garden is too small for the GPS to work out that you're actually moving. So <laughs> I'd been running for maybe like 20 minutes and it said I'd only gone 100 meters. So I'm not gonna be able to submit my, my logs each day because you can submit them and then you can get like a medal at the end, <laughs> which I'm into. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to do that, but I worked out how many steps, it's like 2,600 and something steps is two kilometers. And at that point I'd done like 3,600 or something. So I was like, okay, no, I've done the two kilometers for the day. Uh, but yeah, it was quite funny because I was like, oh, I've, I've definitely done two kilometers by now. And then looked at it and it's like, you have done 120 meters. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> definitely can't feel than that. Like, I know I'm slow, but I'm not that slow. Yeah, 
These look like little snowmen. Lovely. So I'm not going to tell you what the prompt is for tomorrow, but I'm hoping that I've done a nice mix of um, drawing stuff versus drawing stuff from imagination, like drawing realistic stuff versus drawing stuff from imagination, if that, if that makes more sense, I think. Conceptual versus normal drawing, just to keep things fresh, mix things up a little bit. Maybe let's actually see this is where I want to turn the paper. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, this is not a very good circle. My maths teacher at school, of all people, told us that when you were drawing a line, um, don't watch your hand, focus on where you want to go, and you will automatically draw a straighter line. And it's 100% true. So thank you, Mr. Coppin, for that trick. It has served me well for many years. No tricks for drawing circles, though. driving around. Weird. It was really quiet this morning and now suddenly everyone's like, oh yeah, time to head out. I'm thinking I should put a plant in shot each time. That can be a thing. Then we can do plant plant talks as well. Two birds with one stone and all that. Can you tell I just changed my mind about what I was doing like midway around here? <laughs> this is filling up nicely now. Misty's waking up. I can see her little feet poking off the chair. She sleeps so heavily, it's really cute. But again, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be that person. Please please do please put a plant in shot and we can talk about plants. Sorry, there's a massive lag on my side. I think I'm about like 30 seconds behind. Um yeah, I definitely will. Okay, let's put him in shot this time. <laughs> not fall off my computer or put him in the candle that would be a fairly stupid thing to do there you go you can have a little bit of belief so um i don't know if any of you watch the videos on this channel but um i got one coming up when is it coming up? I don't know. I filmed quite a lot of stuff that's scheduled in, might be next week. Um, someone very kindly, I don't know if you're here, Virginia, maybe you are, I don't know if you are, if you're, hello, I'm talking about you, um, sent me a surprise plant. It arrived yesterday, day before yesterday. When did we lock down? Today. It arrived yesterday, um, randomly, was not expecting it, completely out of the blue. Um, she sent me a plant off of my plant wish list for my birthday, <laughs> which is so incredibly sweet. I'm so excited about it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, so I'll, maybe I'll put that in tomorrow. It's in one of the promo shots. So there's a group of us who've gotten together to do a lockdown giveaway. Um, so it's only female entrepreneurs who are involved in the prize, um, all small businesses. And we've all 
donated a prize for for this competition. I can't remember how many people are involved now. I want to say it's like 12. I'm not going to tell you what the prizes are, but holy smokes, guys, it is, it's nuts. Um, we got the final confirmation of what everyone's donating yesterday. And I really, I really want to enter. <laughs> Obviously, I can't enter, but it, if I saw it, that would be a competition I would enter. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and you can know if you are entering that it's, you're supporting a lot of small businesses, which I think is the panic at the moment. But I'll obviously be showing you that when it launches on my Instagram. I think it's launching next week. I'm not entirely sure, but it's it's a flipping cool collection of prizes, if I do say so myself. I'm trying to think who's in it. I'm not going to tell you who's in it, but there you can. It's clothes, bags, a hol like a two night stay somewhere. Um, an artwork from me. What else? I can't actually remember what else is on the list, but it's, yeah, it's really, really cool. So that's something to look forward to. I feel like I'm getting an adequate amount of circles in here. This is very circly. <laughs> this is a very random amount of leaf to have in shot. Um, it's starting to boggle my brain a little bit now, like going around each side. This would have been quite fun to do in colour, but if you know me, you know I like working in black and white, so this maybe feels appropriate. That is a very loud pigeon. I wonder if you can hear him. I think he sat on my roof. I'll see if I can get Rosie to sit on the desk one day. She likes it. She likes sitting like next to where you're working. Nothing like some rosy content to brighten a mood. Stream for 38 minutes. Okay, that's not tragic. Um, I think some days, like I said, will be more longer than others. Because also, let's be honest, I'm not going to want to draw every day. Um, so, yeah, some of these may be longer than others. I'm trying to remember what, what I've got as the prompt for tomorrow. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> yeah, I think tomorrow might be colour. I might crack out some oil pastels tomorrow. And maybe find some scrap paper because I'm pretty sure we're down to the end of the end of the print paper. And I'm gonna try and keep that for if we do any lessons. I might do the one that I did on Instagram again, because I think that was actually quite good um, and proved a, a good point, I guess, was a good, like, gives you a good tool for being more accurate. So maybe I'll do that one again. So if I were to do lessons, your project was over ambitious. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> Have you gone huge? There's nothing wrong with being ambitious. I mean, to be fair, we have nothing but time. Um, if I were to do some lessons of some description, what time would work for you? Um, I know I've had a couple of people say that they want these live streams to be a bit later, which I can do. I might be able to do that every day just for, you know, cooking supper and stuff. But 
can definitely do some later ones. Um, so maybe should the lessons be later? I know if you've got kids, that's not very practical for you. Um, I can check what the lighting's like in here at night for camera as well. This is quite nice lighting at this time of day, but we can always blast some lamps. So let me know either here or on Instagram or on Facebook or wherever you have found me <laughs> if you have a, a time preference. This is officially boggling my brain too much now. Should we go and add some tiny circles and then call it a day? I think maybe we're on the finishing circles. Oh my goodness. Did you hear that cough? Our neighbor, not our nice neighbors, our not nice neighbors. <laughs> yeah, we have one group of really nice neighbors and another who is an old racist lady with a very strange man who lives with her. Um, he has been going in and out all day. Yep, there he goes again. Can you hear his car? He's leaving again and he's coughing so badly. <sighs> Where is he going? He runs a spur. He is not an essential business person. That's the third time he's been out today. Coughing away. Like, what can you do? I don't want to be that person that's like, don't be a dick, but I feel like he's being a bit of a dick. Like it's day one. You know, and I get a trip to go and buy groceries because most people are not got paid today. So, I mean, that's totally acceptable, but like we're talking multiple trips out here. He's off sightseeing. Weird. People are strange. I don't understand them most of the time. Hmm. Should we add anything else or is it done? I think it's done. Maybe we should do some little dots all around the edge. Okay, these are going to be my finishing dots. So once we do the full, the full loop, I think that's going to be today's prompt. Oh, it would help if they were evenly done, wouldn't it? Today's prompt done. So if you do do this, do do this. <laughs> Um, if you do draw along with any of these and you fancy sharing, um, I'm sure it's a common hashtag, but I thought it was quite funny. Um, I'm going to share mine using isolate and create. Hashtag isolate and create. Oh, look, <laughs> the spacing's gone completely. Um, yeah, just to see what everyone's doing, really. Very impressed that Misty slept through this whole thing. I was anticipating having to get up and free her. Okay, we are nearly done. Et voila. Is it looking fabulous? I think it's coming out better on camera actually than it looks in real life. My phone is being forgiving <laughs> with it. Up close it looks a bit of a shambles, but thank you. Yeah, looking at it on, I've got my um, computer open here so I can read what everyone's writing. Um, yeah, that looks better than it does in real life. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm done, I think. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming and watching for 45 minutes. If you've made it the whole 45 minutes, thank you. Um, I'm probably going to be doing these at about four every day. 
again, I don't know how long they're going to be. Some will be quick, some will be longer, some might go on forever, who knows? Um, but I'm going to put reminders on my Instagram. Those are like clocky things that you can set, so you can say like, remind me of this. Um, but also if that irritates you, which they irritate me, I'm going to be honest with you, so I don't really want to use them. Um, you can subscribe to the channel. So I don't know where it is, where I subscribe, let's see. Uh, if you click on my name, I think, and then you can click a little red subscribe button, it'll be somewhere like down there. And then you'll just get a little notification if I go live or if I post a video. Um, and please know that by subscribing, you're helping me get to my thousand subscriber goal. <laughs> and then I can monetize videos. I have no shame in saying that like that would be very helpful right now. So <laughs> that would be great if you wouldn't mind doing that. Or if you know someone who might be interested in draw drawing along, like let us share. It's quite, it's actually like, this was quite fun. I know it's a bit weird, but I quite enjoyed this. There's a little bit of pressure, but at the same time, like it's not terrible. So um, I'm excited for tomorrow now because I know what's coming. <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of a think now, put pressure on myself, but yay. Anyway, um, I hope you're all staying safe and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for some more drawing. Happy, happy first day of lockdown. I hope you're all managing to relax and don't get too stressed. When in doubt, do some drawing. It will help every time. Light a candle, do some drawing and just take a breath. Cool guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Question is, can I work out how to end the stream? <laughs> yes, I can. A jellyfish? That's amazing. Okay, this time is great, cool. So I'll probably see you at four tomorrow then. Bye. Oh.